Hi everyone, this is Francisco and I am recording this video because just recently I was watching some police pursuits through YouTube with my parents and I noticed that police officers always have a difficult time to cause the vehicle to stop in order to well in this case arrest the guy or the woman who is fleeing from the police so I came up with an idea uh, to resolve this especially with self drivable vehicles as no one will get injured in the process so let, let us assume that there is a police pursuit anywhere in the in the world and as soon as that happens the authorities will be able to use their own or any self-drivable vehicle to box in the driver it's either that or let's assume there's three self-drivable vehicles that go directly where the police pursuit is at safely they will then the vehicles will then the self drivable vehicles will then pass the person who is the vehicle who is fleeing the authorities and they will align themselves horizontally in front of the vehicle they are attempting to stop then I was even thinking that AI can initiate a a tire um uh what are those things called again Um, a tire stripper tire strip so AI will communicate with dispatch and the officers who are in pursuit of the vehicle fleeing and it will notify them and communicate with them and it will say something like initiating the tire stripper all units stand back so that's when the police officers will slow down as 
the AI robots, uh, self-drivable vehicles, will release the tire strippers. And this will cause uh, the tires to flatten. Um, then... Well, obviously, like I said, they will be in front of the vehicle. So right before that happens, they'll slow down, causing the driver to slow down. And then it will release it once it knows and it and as and is at a certain speed limit that is safe to do so. And then when that happens, that's when um the police officers in pursuit will be able to approach where the vehicle has stopped is forced to stop where it's forced stopped because right when that happens the vehicles will slow down and um and stop completely they'll stop all the way you know obviously when it's safe to do so um and no one will be in the line of fire because these are self drivable vehicles. So if police officers do need to open fire, they will be able to do so. Although I am against lethal weapons. I believe everyone, even police officers, should have non-lethal weapons. You know, and I think I've seen some, you know, some bullets that actually... They go into the the person and they can inflict, you know, um, great bodily injury because there's spikes like darts and they get jab jabbed into the flesh and electric cue, you know, the subject or subjects and it will stunt them and it will put them to sleep it will knock them out um, and it will provide the authorities with enough uh, time to make an arrest and even take uh, the fleer, the person or people to to the hospital and eventually um, to jail, to court, and for them to investigate further all the details. Um... So technically, it will be robots assisting um, police officers. Um, and even if police officers are using the self drivable technology in their vehicles. In the police units uh, vehicles they will be able to quickly exit one vehicle enter another vehicle and the vehicle that is unoccupied will be will then be able to safely self-drive itself 
in front, you know, once there's like three self drivable vehicles, it will, they will be able to safely go around all the traffic. Um, if there's pedestrian, pedestrians, bicyclists, whoever, or whatever, they will be able to self-drive in front of the vehicle, um, the FLIR vehicle, and perform these, <clears throat> th this um, scenario that I'm talking about, scenario that I'm talking about, um, and if a police officer is around and can safely exit the vehicle, and be a ground unit temporarily on technically uh, on standby but not in actuality because the officer or officers will still be on duty but they will just be ground units um Meaning they, they would just walk and um, do their job that way until um, they can either get back in another unit vehicle, that or another unit picks them up. Um, to take them to the police station for them to get in a in a new vehicle in a different vehicle until that whole situation is resolved um, and I think you know if the vehicles can because they're, they're, they're programmed and they can be programmed. They're self programmable with AI. And we can actually, we humans can actually program the vehicles to box the vehicle in, um, from the front and rear sides. If you know, those in charge or whatever decide not to go with the uh, with the tire shredder thing device. Um. I mean, it will obviously cause uh, damage to these robots, these machines, these vehicles. Um, but it will potentially um, stop the police pursue immediately, almost immediately, and prevent people, innocent people, from getting injured or hurt or even killed, or for the suspects or suspects to flee from the vehicle and hold someone hostage. Or a group of people hostage. Um, so. It will just be a different approach. To resolve. Uh, police pursuits. And also. 
I believe that poli police pursuit videos shouldn't be made available to civilians so that so in order for civilians not to be educated on the tactics of law enforcement and the strategies that they use to um to successfully uh stop someone who is fleeing the police um because by these videos being available to all of us on YouTube and other formats it's actually educating people on what to do and what not to do so that's not a good thing it, it will be better if people didn't know for the safety of everyone in the world um, except those whom it may concern, which is police officers, CHP, and, you know, all the, um, other officers who have access to a vehicle or are you know driving around and can assist in these type of situations you know these serious type of situations um so let's say a new police pursuit were to happen these suspects won't have any idea won't have any clue what they will be ex what they will be experiencing and um you know instead of airing it live with a helicopter i think that that footage should be kept concealed or set back at least an hour so it will be available to the public an hour back an hour behind so When people are watching the news, it will just say breaking news. And it will show everything. But an hour or two or even longer. Behind um, schedule. Uh, obviously, people will be able to see. Uh, the time um, if you know if you uh, detectives uh, want to 
provide people with the time or timing. But as far as I'm concerned, um, people can just have, you know, the basics, a general idea of what's going on, but not live. Um, and if anyone gets put on the job, then they could be notified through their vehicle dashboard, uh, radio communication, walkie-talkie, radio, um, and they can be given the facts live. But not to us citizens. So once everything is cleared out, cleared up, you know, as far as people are concerned, like let's say it's on a freeway, the three self drivable vehicles that will box in that vehicle. People won't even realize that there's no humans inside of these vehicles. So they won't have any clue about it. Um, and... This will be you know I think I believe a, a good uh, strategy, a good approach to to get um, everything under control. Uh, very quickly before things you know get out of hand or before things or before things um or be, before something leads out of hand um so technically everything will be under control uh, very quickly and hopefully the police pursuit will come to a complete stop very swiftly, very fast, very professionally. You know, because I believe that I think citizens have too much knowledge and police officers out there are not looking out for one another because they go home and they brag about what they did. They brag about their training and guess what? People talk. People go around and share their stories. And eventually people hear, the bad people hear, the bad guys hear. And by you guys doing that, it puts your own lives at risk. So, I believe that there should be uh, filters um, and information should be shared but only to, you know, to the elite, to those whom it, whom it concerns. And when someone becomes an officer or someone who, 
who is sworn to protect and to and to serve um you know they should also be uh sworn sworn not to share you know sensitive information with other with others unless they're in a group of people who have the the same type of training or um, if they have new recruits um, new trainees then that's when it it will be okay Um, but for you people to share and to reveal everything that you people are doing I don't think it's good uh, for the safety of of the public communities and I and I think that's why you people or why a bunch of countries are experiencing a bunch of like terrorist attackers because you people are training each other professionally but you people are not keeping it to yourselves and it's all over YouTube everything is online and that's not good because now people can do their due diligence study your tactics and possibly use it against you you guys and if I was a leader I wouldn't want anyone to know my tactics except you know my army my my soldiers um and it's okay to share the knowledge with other officers doesn't matter what country but to share that information you know openly it's very it's very um foolish and definitely not wise because it seems like you know these people have actually it seems like they're copycats. You know, they they have actually sat down at one point of the of their life and watched one or two or even more per, police pursuits in their lifetime. Um So, so if anyone out there has ever been arrested, convicted, or convicted, and or convicted of of a police pursuit, um, you know, not complying with authorities or whatever. They should be asked, and that and this information should be documented if they have watched some videos at one point in, in their life of a police pers- po- police pursuit or p- 
all these pursuits. Just so you people uh, or the courts can be made aware of this person's knowledge, uh, potential knowledge. Um, you know, because they say anything you say, um, anything you, anything you, uh, say can be used against you in the court of law or something like that but I say whatever you say and whatever you watched on your personal account or anything that can be connected to you as a suspect through the internet or through any technology smart devices will be used against you can and will be used against you in the court of law So that's why this information is very critical. It's very uh, important. I was going to say the word informative. But uh, I meant to say important, uh, critical. You know, because especially with cameras, especially with cameras these days um, and technology, uh, smart televisions, everything is in HD, um, mostly everything, especially... Police, helicopters, and their cameras, and they're filming everything, they're recording everything, and then they're blowing.